जय श्री माता जी गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन लेट्स बो डाउन टू श्री माता जी रेज अवर मदर कुंडलिनी एंड पुट बंधन श्री गणेश मंत्र Let us listen to Shimata Ji's speech. But supposing if you had accepted events in life as important, what does it matter? Let's see what happens. For example, if I say now, some people have to go from here to Phoenix and settle down there. immediately how will they go and where will be the house where will they stay who will pay for it and every question is such a big question yeah well yes we'll go what's harm we'll stay anywhere under a tree doesn't matter for sure after all monkeys can live there why can't we they were our forefathers <laughs> but that sort of a comfort loving temperament is very dangerous and they feel they are very tired all the time you see in american films nowadays what i see is anybody even a heroine or a hero he comes and says well perhaps they think too much they are working hard or they are doing this all the time they think this is sir jogini in london she is an indian girl works very hard Does every stitching, everything she does, she's very happy. There's another one who is an English one. He's always tired. So I told her, why is he tired? He looks so healthy. Why is he so tired? She said, Mother, you know, he thinks he's working. I don't think. I think it's Mother who is working because I leave everything at your lotus feet. I am not working. She's working. I'm living at her lotus feet. That's all. And then you don't feel that. Now the quarrel between husband and wife here is mainly how many dishes you have washed, how many dishes I have washed, <laughs> how much physical work you have done, how much physical work I have done. There's a kind of a competition going on as to all the time weigh what you have done, what I have done. 
But supposing if you want to do something in such a manner that, let me see, I, I will surprise my husband by doing everything nicely, let's finish it first, you will do it very well and you will never be tired. And when you will see your husband coming home and seeing things done so well, so well, so happy, that joy of doing something to make someone happy, it will completely neutralize all your discomfort or the fatigue that you are. The other way round also, the husband should also feel that, what could I do for her? A small little thing can make her happy. And the divorces here are all the time because of this kind of a nonsensical idea that how much he has done, what I have done, what he has done, all the time weighing it out and making yourself miserable. I travel a lot, as you know. I never feel I'm traveling because I am there with myself. Whether I sit here or travel, it's just the same. But if you think I'm traveling, then you feel, oh God, I'm traveling. <laughs> but if you just think I'm sitting here in the chair, I'm sitting there in the chair, you don't feel tired. If you are doing some work, you feel tired when you start thinking, I am doing this work, I have done that work. Especially in Sahaja Yoga, if you think, I am doing any work, better not do it. But if you think, I am doing nothing, I have what joy? What joy it is! You will become so energetic, because once you surrender, then the Divine Power starts flowing through. That's why Muhammad Sahib has said, Islam means to surrender. He said it about me also, that I'll send you. He called me the sent one. And everything is talked about, having the vibrations and all that, in his own style. But he said that the message should be of surrender. And that surrendering part has to be there, because Sri Krishna and Gita has very clearly said, that forget every dharma, just surrender yourself to Me. And that surrendering, if the Sahaja Yogis develop in America, the rest I'll look after. But you leave it to Me to do it. And then ideas and everything we start doing, because this is Virata's place. That's why you have such great scientists here, uh, such great soap, scope for all kinds of intellectual work and all that is here. While people are not wise, they are not wise at all. I mean, I've known people who, this, uh, I met a president of Union Society, he was 80 years of age, and uh, he's supposed to be the president of the whole world. And he said, I must see you privately. I said, All right. He came to me and his problem was so stupid that I just started looking at him, an eighty-year-old man, this stupid fellow. He's not even like a ten-year-old boy, no maturity of any kind, so immature. And when I saw him, I just had the glimpse of the whole thing, that look at this man, eight year old, he's the chairman of Union societies, all over the world people think him to be the chairman of this thing. The chair may be better than him. <laughs> such a stupid fellow in a way, such a stupid fellow that you can't imagine. So they might be intelligent, they might be well read, they might be able to discover something out of matter, but they do not have wisdom. And the wisdom can only come through honest introspection. But it should not be also, I am catching on this chakra, I am catching on that chakra, not that. But why am I not seeing the point? What's the matter with me? Why can't I understand what is Sahaja Yoga? 
even when you have become sahajogis now for years together, still these old nonsensical things stick on to you, these ideas stick on to you. Why? Why do we not have that purity of divine discretion which sees everything so clearly? So I think we need collectivity first of all, and secondly, meditative honesty. Just to meditate, sit down before the photograph, do the meditation, no. Meditation should act, should work. If it does not work, something wrong with it, absolutely something wrong. If you feel everything is working all right, everything is miraculously showing its presence, the presence of the Param Chaitanya, then you are all right. But if it is not so, if there are problems, then you are not, you are not a Sahaja Yogi. Sahaja Yogi is the one who is completely connected with this Paramachaitanya. And for that age is no bar. I have seen girls who are only 16, 17, 18 years, so wise. Even small little children who, who were with a uh, widow, I talked to them, I was surprised at their wisdom. So very wise, so beautiful. They understood human nature so well. Small little children, about, they were at the most ten years of age. And nice to talk to them. So that wisdom, if they can have at that age, now we are also, all of us are about ten year old Sajogis, minimum, not, nothing else. But still we are struggling, ambitious, and uh, wrong priorities. There is no need to have any ambition. Ambition is an imaginary thing, but Sahaja Yoga is reality. Everything works out, everything sorts itself, everything plans out. But to feel that if this is so, as I said, in a small room there are twelve people. Is something for the good? Why not? We have to be there. If I if I have lost the way, suppose, then I would say I have to go this way. This time we made a ticket which was little wrong according to everyone, because we had to go through Phoenix. But nice, because I felt the vibrations of Phoenix, I had to go that way. I had to see that. So, always to find something smooth, the way we want it to be smooth, is not the way of Sahaja Yoga. But whatever we get it, we see the hand of the Divine behind it. What is our purpose of life? Our purpose of life is to save people, save the Americans, minimum of minimum, not the world, but at least start with Americans. That's our purpose of life. That's our identity. While doing that, there is Param Chaitanya which is going to look after you completely. But first you put yourself before everything else. I must have this, I must have that, I must have this. It won't work. Then I have this problem, I jumped into bankruptcy, I had that problem, I just couldn't manage. Because you have put other things before yourself. Self means the Spirit. According to people, Self means selfishness. 
But according to Sahaja Yoga, self means your spirit. So, today's lecture should not be that we hear from one year and goes through the same one, but should we little bit ponder about it and listen to it again and again. I have great hopes from you. I worked very hard in America, very much so. But it has never been that state where I could say, now I can trigger something. Even if there are few Sahaja Yogis who are very deep and good, they are pulled down by others, by jealousies, by this, by that. It's not the number that you are, but the quality that you are, first of all. But in Russia I found it so easy, so very easy. It was wonderful, unbelievable. I've been only there thrice, can you imagine? And now Sahaja Yoga is a religion throughout. Everyone knows me in Russia. But here people only know Rajneesh or that Muktanand or all horrible people. Now, you can also say that Mother is a question of advertising, that here the people, the way they advertise and manipulate and all that. But it only works out in places where people are not seeking reality. Why can't they see that this is all publicity? They have no discretion. Supposing tomorrow they say, this is the hairstyle, then all Americans are in the same hairstyle, you can't make them out who is who. Or they say, this is the way the dress has to be. All Americans will be dressed up that way. I mean, it's a slavery to these entrepreneurs and to all these advertisements. Any kind of advertisement, if that enamors people so much, that means we are fools, we are stupid, we are idiots, that we cannot think for ourselves. Anybody can be fools. Anybody can put up anything in the market. Anything they talk about, we jump at it. As if we have no brains to understand, to take to it. It's like we have no roots. We are just like some weeds which are thrown from this end to that end. But in Sahaja Yoga, your roots must grow much, much faster than anybody else. Because this is the land of Sri Krishna. How many things he has done in his lifetime, we have to see. As a child, he killed so many demons, while all demons are invited here. As a child, he placed the Kundalini of all the gopis and everyone. He played all kinds of beautiful tricks to amuse people as a child. And later on, he killed his own uncle. Which shows one thing, an uncle in Indian Families is the nearest person. In the marriage, it is the uncle who gives the daughter, it is the uncle who performs most of the rituals and everything. The uncle is the nearest person. And he killed his own uncle. Shows that he finished off all these artificial relationships. And there we find in America, there are people who have done this kind of thing, is to have nothing to do with the mother, have nothing to do with the father, have nothing to do with sister or wife, husband, children, anyone. But for what? For what have they given up? They gave it up for selfishness for money, not for something higher. Just the opposite of what Sri Krishna did is to kill his own uncle because to deliver his parents from their 
prison and also to kill a demon, was a demon. So in our own understanding, if we understand one thing, that we are living on the soil or on the soil of that country which is blessed by Shri Krishna, who is called as Yogeshwara. So the first part was that when he destroyed all these things, he was a Yogeshwara. He was the divine energy for yoga, for union with the divine power. He was the Ishwara, he is the deity. If he was a deity and he is the one who is the ruler of this area, then what should we be? In yoga we should be masters, not mentally, but at that state of the higher state. If that could be achieved, then you people should become the highest of highest yogis, because you have that power existing in this place, it is there. So many have told me that, Mother, now don't you worry about, don't you worry about America, just forget it. What why to waste time in America? It's not going to work out, it's useless. But I know such a lot of power exists in this country of the Yogeshwara. And if you can use that power of Yogeshwara, you can do so much good to the whole humanity at this juncture when the history is taking another form. Now those who rise, in spirituality. Everybody is now today talking of spirituality. Even Prince of Wales the other day was talking that we should take to spirituality, not to so much materialism that has caused us eco ecological problems and things like that. Everybody is talking of spirituality and you are the ones who have it with you. You are the ones who have powers with you. You are the ones you can spread it. And once you sp start spreading it, you'll be surprised how you will achieve tremendous heights in every sphere, in every walk of life. So your identity is that you are Sajogis and you have to use the power of Yogeshwara, who is the presiding deity of this country. I bless you all that you have that wisdom, that depth, touch your depth somehow, try to work it out, stop all nonsensical fights and things, become collective, try to understand each other, try to open your hearts. You have such depth, you are born in this country, because the Yogeshwara wanted you to be here and He has blessed you with all the bounties of His love. Now it is for you to use that tremendous power, but without love you can, because He was the embodiment of Madhurya, sweetness, sweetness. That Madhurya you have to imbibe and that Madhurya you have to spread. That's very important. So that relationship of sweetness between each other, the relation of enjoying each other, 
the relation of uh, knowing each other has to be full of sweetness, just like honey. It is just there, but we have to be the bee to reach there. And I'm sure it will work out. It should work out for all of you. So those who run away from collectivity should be very careful. They are not Sahajogis. And if they continue like this, they'll be just thrown out. They will be nowhere in Sahajoga, I tell you. So you have to, first of all, understand that to be in Sahajoga is only possible if we are having that depth, because a new jump is needed in Sahaja Yoga which will work out, which is working out, and many will be thrown out. You have to jump, and for that jumping you really need people who are honest and deep and serious. Don't get lost onto frivolous things and worldly things. Just seek your death. It's all there. So beautiful. So may God bless you.
this collective morning meditation jai shimata let's go down to shimata ji raise our mother kundalini and put bandha same time for collective morning meditation jashmata mm-hmm.